Hello everybody, it's Matt here from Brightbulb Design. I wanted to take uh, you through a little tutorial on how to add WooCommerce to your WordPress site. Uh, WordPress is one of the most used CMS systems in the world. About 30% of the internet is currently powered by WordPress. Uh, we, we use uh, Drupal and Magento, Laravel, Craft, all sorts of other CMSs here at Brightbulb, but a huge chunk is done via WordPress and so I figured if I can give some advice here on how to set up WooCommerce yourself um, on WordPress then that will cover quite a lot of individuals and businesses and it will also hopefully help you get up and running without uh, too much hassle and, and at a low cost. Um, obviously if you do need help um, further down the line and also if you need help setting this up just give us a call at Bright Bulb Design. We're always here to help um, and we'll do our best to help you through as painlessly as possible to get you on to e-commerce for your website which would be really ideal in this current situation of the coronavirus. So I'd just like to take you through um, how to add WooCommerce to your website, how to turn your site into an e-commerce store. Uh, so basically we're working in the front end here of a, a basic site I've set up, uh, Isle of Bright .co .uk. you've got to excuse the silly idea of the name. Um, jump into the back end of your site, go to your dashboard, you've got plugins there here on the left hand side. Uh, if you just go into plugins and that will populate you add a new plugin, you go to WooCommerce, search for that, spell it correctly would help. And there you have it. All you need to do is literally click the install button on WooCommerce and that will start to install the plugin for you. It'll take a little while to install, um, depending on your site. Activate the plugin. So what this will actually do is it will populate your site with all the tools that you need to run uh, WooCommerce, to run a, a shop website. Um, so it will literally push you straight into the WooCommerce setup screen, the setup wizard. Um, so really it's just a case of populating this with your information. Um, so for us, we're at East Key Kite Hill. John Morton. Miller and White, of course. Okay, so set your address, uh, set your currency, currently pound sterling, um, and you can decide here whether you want to be selling physical products or digital products. So you can sell. Um, ebooks etc uh, through WooCommerce as well um, and also physical pro products as well so I'm going to leave that as both for now. So WooCommerce pr practically takes you through this whole system um, so it's really quite easy just follow the instructions that come up on the screen. Basically uh, an easy setup for WooCommerce is using either Stripe or PayPal uh, gateways. Um, if you've got either of those uh, payment gateways already, then this is really simple for you to do. I'm just going to flick on uh, PayPal. Uh, it's an obvious one that a lot of people already have. Uh, so that you can literally choose whether to go down the Stripe route, go down the PayPal route, one or the other or both. Um, gives you plenty of options. There are other options for other pay payment gateways as well. Um, but at the moment, this is a, a good option for us for getting set up really quickly. So we'll just continue onwards. Uh, it then goes into the shipping information and what you need to do there. It's again, it's just a basic setup. It, it walks you through the process um, and it just it makes it really easy. All you need to do is really read what it says and put the information in. So shipping methods can be flat rate, can be free shipping. You can also at uh, a later date set up things like table shipping, uh, which is weight versus length and weight versus distance, etc. Um, sort of table rate shipping. Um, but at the moment we're going to keep it fairly simple. So I put that down as three pound. Uh, again, choose how you want to do your weight system. If you want to do it by grounds, pounds, and ounces. And again, the sizing. Then just continue onwards. And like I say, it will just post, take you through this yourself. So you can do a hell of a lot of this stuff yourself. 
Um, now here's an interesting one that see, it does have a storefront theme. Um, themes in WordPress, what I'm running here is the basic WordPress theme. Uh, I think it's 2020. Uh, so there's no real add-ons to that theme. There's no CSS changes, there's no JavaScript bits and pieces. And I did that because I wanted to show you how this would look uh, on, a, on a straightforward uh, site that doesn't have too much changes to it in terms of CSS. Some sites will react differently. Um, things like pushing your checkouts, uh, your baskets and stuff may be put in different places with different themes, um, but this basic theme will just kind of show you exactly how things would go and, and where things are set up. I'm going to just flick that off for now. You can also set it to sync up your MailChimp list, which is obviously very helpful on Facebook as well. I'll just continue onwards. So the next it will ask you to do Jetpack, um, I think is the next part of this process. Um, and that's, a, yeah, there we go, an additional add-on for um, for WordPress. And that's, again, it's all simple. You just follow the instructions, continue on with Jetpack. So um, I've already got a, a Jetpack login, actually. So I'll just continue on with there and type my password in. But you can set yourself up with an account, um, which would be very useful anyhow, because Jetpack has a lot of features that can be used for your um, if you for any um, WordPress site, but also for e-commerce. So it's going to authorize the connection between the site and Jetpack. Um, and there's a lot of, like I say, benefits around that, and that's stuff that you can really look into uh, if you're if you're interested. So we're going into product updates, inspirational, the, the, the basic sort of we'll email you with some information if you want it. Um, great. From here onwards, you're pretty much set up to go. Um, the next stage is to create a product, uh, which I will take you through uh, the basis of this. So if you go to create a product, and I'm going to create a Heinz baked beans. I'm going to spell it correctly. Uh, so you can have your product description uh, within this main section, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, can of lovely beans, tomato sauce. Uh, as you scroll down, this is where the um, virtual downloadable area appears. Now if you started out and said you don't do physical products this wouldn't appear. You can always change that in the settings of WooCommerce at a later date. So I'm going to put this can of beans on for pound and 10 pence. There's no sale on that beans. Uh, you can add a custom SKU uh, to go with your store to help manage stock levels. You can also enable stock management and say I've only got 100 cans of beans. You can also create a system whereby if you get below a certain point it will actually take it off the site so that just in case there are orders via phone and other things or there's a double order it will safeguard you from selling something you don't actually have in stock. I'm going to leave that at two currently uh, and there's other options through here. Shipping again if you're doing table weight, uh, table rate shipping then this is where this becomes more important in terms of weight, length um, and the shipping classes that can be applied to it. Um, we haven't set up any shipping classes specifically in this store. I'm just trying to take you through the basics of what you can do yourself. Uh, <clears throat> link products, you can actually link products together to, to cross-sell as well uh, and adding attributes. I'm not going to go into the more advanced features here. Uh, there's something you can certainly look into but I'm just trying to give you a basis of where to go and where to start. Uh, you can create categories as well, so <clears throat> it might be um, fast moving consumer goods, uh, add that category in and actually put the beans into that specific category. Uh, the other important feature is to add a product image, so I've already got a image on my desktop of beans. And I suggest adding a few product images, um, good if you've got things at different angles and just showing how it's being used. Maybe a lifestyle image as well to go with it, as well as the, uh, an individual product image. Um, just helps to anything to drive those sales really and, and make people um, have an emotional response to that product. So we've set that up. If I publish that, what I'll show you then is what WooCommerce has done to the front end of the site. So this is how it looked before we installed WooCommerce, a basic homepage. I haven't actually populated it with anything, to be honest. If I just refresh that now that WooCommerce is 
has been installed. As you'll see, you've got now a car to check out, my accounts page, and you've got a shop. So that's already been populated into your menu bar. Um, and if you look in the back end, WooCommerce has actually already created for you the, the cart page, the checkout, the account system, and the shop. Uh, it's got all of that built in, so that instantly gives you everything you kind of need. Um, the next part is to add your payment gateway and make sure that's working. Let me just take you into the shop so you can see what's going on. There's our shop. Obviously, we've only got one item added, which is that lovely can of baked beans. Uh, and you can simply go into that product. You can look for more information here. Um, obviously, I haven't really added very much to this. Uh, if you've got more images, it would be, be able to flick through those. This is the basic uh, WooCommerce sort of setup. So there's no customization gone on here. Uh, WooCommerce will uh, try to attach to some of your CSS that's running for your um, site uh, in terms of getting some of your styling. But it, you know, what we do, the difference between you doing this and us doing this is that we would fully customize the WooCommerce check, uh, check out uh, product pages. Uh, cut, uh, category pages so that it's very much um, specific to your site. Uh, in this instance and in the situation we're in at the moment with coronavirus, I think you know just getting a website up with some e-commerce on it is going to be helpful to you to potentially sell your products uh, or your virtual products to people. Um, so you know we're just trying to save you uh, time and money really in terms of getting this up and, and potentially being able to do this yourself. So how it works is, you know, just like a normal shop now, all the functionality is built into WooCommerce, add it to the cart, view the cart, everything's all set up for you, uh, nice and simple, add to the, the shipping information, proceed to checkout, uh, just like you normally would, or you can go straight through PayPal. Um, we haven't set up the payment gateways yet, but, but I will show you how simple that is. Uh, again, filling out the forms. Uh, giving all the information that you need and processing it via PayPal or whatever other gateway you may have set up. If we look in the back end of this site, uh, what's been added here is the WooCommerce section which has got all the settings for WooCommerce and also the product section uh, which is where you add all your products uh, and that's really where the time is. It's really um, creating your products, creating the images for that um, and putting all that information through all the description. It's a really good idea to have a really good description, um, something that's searchable as well, um, good images and just anything that would help drive people to buy your products. Uh, if we go into the WooCommerce setup and look at the settings, we'll see uh, all sorts of stuff that you can change. Uh, specifically, looking at payments here, what we've got set up, and um, what we've got allowed at the moment is PayPal and Stripe. You do need to set those systems up. Um, going to PayPal, it's really, really straightforward um, how to do this. You're just basically using your PayPal email, setting it to live, and you can edit some of this information so that it works on how you want it to on the front end. Uh, you've got branding, you've got images you can add in here as well. Uh, and basically, as long as it's using your um, correct email address for your PayPal, that will actually pull in what you need. So it's really, really straightforward. Okay, so now we've got the payment gateway set up. Uh, let's look at how it looks on the front end and that process that's now in place. Um, so we've got our can of beans, uh, we can add that to the cart, uh, let's go view the cart, just like any normal store. I did actually add a can of beans earlier, so I can update the cart by removing one of those items because I only want one can of beans. Um, and then we can proceed to checkout, uh, so let's proceed on as normal. Uh, fill in your billing details just as normal, and then it gives you your breakdown of costs, so I'm going to pay £3 shipping, so it's quite an expensive can of beans for me, um, that's got a flat rate shipping on that. I'm choosing PayPal as the gateway, if there was other gateways set up that would give you options there for Stripe or WorldPay or SagePay, um, and I'm going to pay via PayPal. So this then brings up the payment gateway, so this is where um, all information gets stored in PayPal, which is this here. Uh, you can pay normally via your um, uh, PayPal account or you can go and pay via debit on credit card, add your details in just like you normally would, and that will process through. I'm not gonna do it now, um, 
okay, I've got an example of what happens, um, but continue onwards and you'll see the order gets set and this is what you'll receive. Now I processed this earlier at a cheaper rate just to test that the system was working. I also did it on free shipping because you can add other shipping options. Uh, and this email is already set up. Now if we were to do this for you obviously we would fully customize this email template and there's various templates within WooCommerce uh, account setup templates and um, order templates etc. Um, and this could be fully customized within WooCommerce itself. Uh, it's a little bit more of a technical job um, but it certainly could be achieved if you look at the documentation around it. So that's what you get in the back end of the site. You will see there's been an order, which is quite nice. You also receive an email as the vendor, and it will say it's processing until you decide that it's been sent. And then you can change these details once you've processed this order, completed it, cancelled, etc. And so that's really how you can get a website set up with e-commerce. Um, it is a useful tool, it's, you know, there, there are far more advanced things you can do with this, but this is just really getting you a, a, an early idea on how you could do this yourself, potentially. Um, if you hit any problems, uh, do give me a call at Brightbulb, we're always here to help, I'm sure we'll be able to resolve any issues you might come across, um, and uh, we're always here to give free advice on anything web, uh, WordPress, Drupal, any of the other uh, CMSs as well. We're pretty well versed in, in all kinds of CMS, but specifically this one seems to cover a lot of people. So um, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.